All right, so we really can't let our guard down, at least not just yet. A red flag warning is still in effect this morning for most of Southern California. And CBS News' Cara Finstrom is live in Tustin, where the winds turn deadly. Cara. They did in the National Weather Service telling us they expect those winds to pick up again this morning, sometime right about daybreak. However, just about half the strength they were yesterday, which is encouraging. Behind us, take a look at the deadly destruction powerful gusts caused yesterday. That massive eucalyptus tree came crashing down, sadly, on a car with a woman inside, killing her. You could see the candles that uh, have been left outside in her memory. Danette Burmis was 34. She was leaving her apartment carport when the winds really whipped up. She was pinned in the driver's seat. Emergency crews tried to help, but by the time they got to her, she had died. Her neighbor tells us he'd wished her a good morning, started to walk his dog, and then seconds later, heard the tree snap. And I turned around. I saw the tree fall. I put my dog away. Insulin came out and saw all the power lines down. And I told everybody to stay away. We called 911. We went to the office and that was it, and I came back, and this other lady found, I saw that there's a lady in there, and I checked for a pulse, and there was none. Also in Tustin, winds uprooted a 10-foot palm. It uh, knocked an 80-year-old woman off her feet. She's expected to be okay. The winds howled through this area all day. Firefighters responding to dozens of calls of trees and power lines down just in Tustin. And back here live, you can see the uh, red tag uh, that's been placed on part of this carport. Uh, lots of destruction here. Also, a red flag warning, as we mentioned, uh, in effect throughout Orange County. And that's because even though the winds are supposed to be lighter, uh, Jeff, and Sharon, humidity levels very low, and all of the wind we had yesterday, they say, really dried out those grasses and brushes and trees. So they're urging everyone to be a little more cautious today.